Ridge Lagoon Estate, it is a small community named after a lagoon less than a half a mile from the Philip Goldson Highway on the Boom Hatterville Road. For the past few weeks, water levels have been at an all-time high as the effects of hurricanes Eta and Iota were felt across the country. Various locations along the Boom Hatterville circuit are under several feet of water, and over the last few days, water rose high into houses at Ridge Lagoon Estate, with the access road to the community under more than a feet of water. The last time this happened was in 2008, and before that it was in 1998. It's not something, usually these properties are normally high, so it takes a natural disaster, a big one, for this to happen. So the Ridge Lagoon, what this neighborhood is named after, is connected to the Belize River. So whatever water comes through the Belize River, it connects to the, the Ridge Lagoon, which is back there, and then there's a pond in front here with a canal connecting both of those and um, whatever water comes from the river, it comes up here. About 15 families have been affected, and it is forecasted that the water levels are going to increase even higher over the next few days. For Natalie Rayburn and her family, water rose rather quickly. It is the first time that they're experiencing this phenomenon, having resided in the area for some nine years now. They did not construct a concrete water barrier, but placed sandbags, which have not prevented the floodwaters from entering into their house. Like a week ago, started to raise and then today now they in the house yesterday was the fastest and then today they in the house now talk to us about how it has because i'm seeing that tono had some sacks at the door as well no? could it try with this sandbag to stop it but it just not work most of the residents they cement the front of the house and the back of the house mm -hmm. to make the water not go in but we didn't do it so we tried the sandbag and the sandbag didn't work. We've been afraid for gators because we have them in the neighborhood. So far we don't see it yet, but we have them. We see them before. Mm -hmm. So of course we are. Snakes? Because of I got course, a whole big thing to it. Definitely we see them more than once. Just killed one few days ago. Since the beginning of the week, residents have been parking their vehicles on the Boom Hatterville Road, strapped on their rubber boots, and wade through the water to get to their properties. But there are also concerns about snakes and crocodiles, which Rayburn says live in the area. We're all humans. We all are trying to save our properties. And in a time like this, where they're flooding over there, we're flooding over here, we just kind of have to come together and, and communicate. Communication is a big key to it. Um, the water was, was raising. It wasn't expected from them. I spoke to them, and um, it was never their intention to do any bad or do any harm. The minute that they realized the water was raising here, they turned off the pumps. And um, now what they're doing is building a ditch, uh, sorry, not a ditch, a dam around their property to protect it from water coming from up north and from this side here. Wow. And right now everybody's just trying to protect their property. Now the situation was compounded on Tuesday when across from the residential community, Ty Crub and Sons Limited, also under several feet of water, was pumping flood water from its property into a culvert that emptied the water into Ridge Lagoon Estates. It caused water levels to increase even higher. Before the end of the day, however, the matter was resolved. Dwayne Moody for News 5.